Hello friends, welcome to UGCE PG Patshala. Myself, Professor Mary Tahir, Department of Geography, Jamia Millia Islamia, will speak on human ecology, which, which is part of the paper Geographical Thought. This has been written by my dear colleague, Dr. Taruna Bansal from the same department. The main objectives of this module is to understand human ecology as a unique field of geography, to discuss the relationship between geography with other subjects and to discuss the divisions of systematic geography. And finally, we come to the conclusion part of this interesting topic. The, we begin with the introduction that is geography as the mother of science. In recent years, only geography has been recognized as an appropriate subject for university instruction and research to any degree in the United States as a science in human knowledge. Significant truth is to contribute an, an art whose broad application in practical places. One is not surprised it is often portrayed as the youngest of the subjects of advanced study to listen to it back and forth. On the contrary, there can be properly claimed the mother of sciences. Hundreds of years before Christ, this was a recognized study in which, which adopted the whole universe. As time has passed, there are many children in geography. Among them are astronomy, botany, zoology, geology, meteorology, ecology, and anthropology. In addition, geography works repeatedly with new obligations because the frontier areas. There are new centers for research and have added the complexity and extent of the domain. In other words, its boundaries expanded in a few quarters even. They contracted among others. Thus, in the past, the geography range has changed from time to time and future changes can be guessed by self-confidence. Geography probably will be a living science for many years. In such circumstances, it is mandatory that different opinions should be made about the content and scope of geography, and questions about the future of this topic should arise. The discussion of these matters is not limited to the US, as some people have thought. For example, Hogarth, at the address of his president for Section E of the British Association last year, said, never losing classes of its core area and works, adding new classes, geography rarely doubts others. Suggest and even yourself, members of this association will remember the president's address in particular, in which he had asked the question, suppose geography dies, what will be left? And consider one, possible division of geography domains by Fenin Mann, Hogarth, Feminan, as far as I know, all other competent geographers speaking on this subject have assured us that there is no possibility that geography will be delayed because it requires one to carry out other sciences and specific tasks cannot be discharged. Undoubtedly, all geographers agree with this viewpoint. This is the disagreement as to the exact nature of the specific work between the question. Geography is not in the old form as suggested sometime in which the twilight area is surrounded by ambiguity and instability. It is also true of geology, botany, economics, history, sociology and various other subjects. But this is probably strange in the fundamental differences of opinion which exist between their exponents related to its specific work. To borrow figures from Fenin four years before its center. Human ecology as a unique field of geography. We are happy to call modern scientific American geography that has emerged from more than one quarter to one third century. It began with the splendid work of Davis, Gilbert and a few others in physics or physical geography as is sometimes called. It is a singular fact which may be recalled in passing that geography, though is the mother of geology, has in the recent period has witnessed its revival in America as a subject of higher study and has been fostered by geology in one university after another. Work in geography has been offered first in the Department of Geology. As this work increased, in some cases the official title 
of the department was changed to Department De Geology of and Geography. Hardly a physical geography was established, or perhaps it should be restored, and an insistent demand arose that it is human. In this way, geography is a science of human ecology. The implications of the word human ecology are evident at one time that what will be the purpose of geographic investigation in the future, geography will aim to clarify relations, that is, current between natural environment and, and human distribution and their activities. Geologists see this problem in general with regard to environmental impact of human beings rather than environmental impact. There is a high probability of being more than the former viewpoint, which includes identifying all factors and appraisals and specifically to reduce the risk of specifying the environmental factors which they do not implement. If the history of geography teaches a lesson more clearly than another, then the etymology of the word does not delineate the area for which it is applied, the relationship between geography with other subjects. The concept of geography is in the form of human ecology, which seems to help physically help in addressing the problem of the alleged overlap with some other topics. To, un to show the interaction between humans and a particular ecosystem, geography will be able to deal with the various elements of landforms, soil, climate, vegetation, and similar premises through the familiar list. However, this will not be the business of geography, which explains the origin, character, and event of these environmental facilities, nor their relationship. One, another, but the responses of individuals are considered in them individually and in combination. It has never been clear in my mind that a body of facts and principles is transferred from one science to another. In any event, geography will not be defined as human ecology. It will not be related to the origin and development of forms of land in particular or in general, but with the adjustment of man for forms in the form of elements. Of, nat of the natural environment. In other words, the interest of geology and geography in the forms of land will be mutually exclusive. Similarly, geography as human ecology will not be concerned with the description of the character and distribution of the various seasons of the world, but with the human relations of the climate, usually only as an element of an environment complex. Then. Geography will not deal with the relations of plants and animals in the physical environment, but will affect the plants and animals as well as the elements of the natural environment that affect humans. In essence, treating geography as per the peripheral characteristics of human ecology to refer to physical science, meteorology, botany, and physics climatology, plant ecology, and animal ecology to work as zoology or career will not stick to it, independent of science. History. This has been a natural result of the history of this country. In the new future, however, to enhance attention, the relationship of our social sciences will definitely be given. It is not our province that they try to accurately define these sciences. It is a work that social scientists have not explicitly told themselves for their mutual satisfaction, complete cottage. It is necessary that we try to separate these areas from geography, and therefore it is necessary that we are possible then a clear concept of the special face of human affairs for which every person gives unique or effective attention. What is the special approach in which we deal with that relates history, sociology, and political science which deals with human development and its civilization with the complex and interactive aspects 
of human activity. A unique problem of economists is evident that the analysis of the economic structure of society and economic generalization or laws for the guidance of individuals and groups. In this way, economics considers the activities that a person specializes in adopting or adapting natural resources for his material, especially to understand those institutions and processes that inspire those activities, which inspired and by which they are air conditioned. In essence, economics tries to understand some relation between men, many of which are generated by the use of human resources of the earth, while geography tries to explain some relations between human and the earth. Some historians believe that the purpose of history is to describe and explain the entire development of civilization. Perhaps there is no need to quarrel with this program for this history which will deny other social sciences and geography to their separate areas because it will definitely be an unattainable ideal. Science history is worried about evolutionary development through epochs, specific social groups, movements and ideas. So history works largely from the past. Geography currently deals with current deals. Historians, in other words, begin to study what our remote ancestors saw. Geography begins with what we ourselves see is history relating to time relationships. The chronology is the organizing principle that the place of geography is related to relations. Ecowell he then deals with human affairs from its organizing com concept history and geography, therefore opposite matters, employ unequal methods and arrive at the generalization of one was in different nature. Sociology. Sociologists have found it difficult to define a specific area for its subject and still contribution of sociology to knowledge is the first order of importance. Like history, it helps to clarify the process and progress of social development. It analyzes the relationship with a group to reveal the existence and operation of relations with humans, group and group of people, groups of people in relation to other humans. By doing this, it deals with a given step of development, not with particular individuals, but with any person. It analyzes social development. In other words, it defines related processes and phases. All are included in a manner that works practically in the historical interpretation of social development of its findings. Political science is perhaps the fastest defined area of social science for political science. It deals with the political structure of the society with the regulation, restraint and encouragement of human activity through law and government action and tries to give an understanding of all the principles which are subject to all the functions of the government. It has to be done specifically with the political environment of humans and it is kept separate from geography. Next we go on to the divisions of systematic geography. If geography is considered as human ecology, then three major systematic departments of this topic are once recognized, that is economic geography, political geography and social geography, three interrelated. Great types of human actions. Earth According to this, the plan will seek economic geography for those adjustments in the environment of the human beings who associate with the combination a living in its subdivisions, whether it is the best developed division of geography. Mining industries, including mining, logging, fishing, etc., geography of the commercial geography and geography of manufacturing, certainly these most of the activities which have been monitored with economic geography include direct use of earth resources are different, easily explained. Surface features include which make cultural landscapes. Economic geography is also the most fundamental part of the subject. It is the whole geography is considered as human ecology. Then the approach of political geography is considered as a curriculum. 
it is purpose for such relationship to understand which can exist among the humans, the political environment, activities and the natural environment on institutions on one side and others. Such connections should be established in most cases through the fact of economic geography and not directly. Failure to recognize this and accordingly invites unconnected generalizations and the so-called political geography actually helps in creating political history as well as with a geographical essence. Next, we go on to regional geography. We now come for regional geography, which is properly recognized as the closing branch of science because it includes facts and principles from all the divisions and subdivisions of systematic geography. As you would expect from earlier statements, it was believed that regional geography in its broadest sense is concerned only with relations between men and areas or natural environment in those areas where they live. It has been reported that any environmental element that deals with topography, soil, climate, vegetation, etc. can be studied in terms of its distribution facts and causes and it has been requested that such treatment is the work of regional geography. Next, physiography understands the effect of vegetation on the development of landforms and vegetation takes topography, soil and climatic plants due to impact on life. The idea of the deserted area gets the geographical quality. Only when present environmental factors are considered in conjunction with the special advantages of this area's advantages and disadvantages for human occupation and use. Regional geography is the opportunity to develop a specific area, the concept of an event and a unique group of underlying principles. There are two fundamental problems in economic regional geography, problems which are closely related to each other, but so far, what are they? How does man use the land and its resources? And why does he use them as land? What are the advantages and disadvantages of the area, the opportunities and the scenario for man's use? The first problem involves the interpretation of existing economic adjustments. The solution of the second one provides a basis for the more effective adjustment. The investigation of the first problem begins with the examination of natural manifestations of the surface of human occupation of the area, which is accompanied by the study of the symptoms of the cultural landscape. There is no other science, it can be noted in passing, cast systematic attention on the development of cultural landscape. Next, we go on to urban geography. Urban geography really is a phase of regional geography and studies of individual cities may be prosecuted no less advantageously than those of other areas from the viewpoint of human ecology two fundamental problems in the geography of the city will sufficiently illustrate this method. Explanation of the city landscape, which is only a special kind of cultural landscape in this regard. One should consider such things as the structure of the city or the geoplanes, its street pattern, the location of its transport lines, distribution and character of its creation the location of wholesale, retail, residential, houses and other districts and its parks and other open areas. These are some of the factors that can be evaluated to evaluate the activities and the potential of the city in its environmental illumination, its development phase, its site and the advantages and disadvantages of the situation supporting the land and rivaling the urban centers should be kept in mind. Historical geography, it may be clear 
that my views on the realm of historical geography and relations are clear according to this plan the rest of the body is here. It has been suggested that in the context of our experiences in that field it is emphasized that the socio-political and economic conditions of the heat movement from the Atlantic coastline to the Pacific coast in the continent but sometimes to absorb interest in references which included more clear geographical relation such as the effect of landforms and waterways. Historical geographies, especially with the past and during the development of those events which consider it a part of the specific characteristics of history. It focuses on human relation with regard to its environment and it is completely human ecology. Thus, geography and history have distinctive properties. To conclude, the first point. The old topic of geography, although it has lost many specialities, still tries to cover too much ground and it will obviously benefit from the benefits of the physics, climate science, plant ecology and animal ecology. An organized concept which is essential, which will enter the geography and present all its division to a specific approach, but the problem of the reasons for distribution of surface incidents some people have urged and the work of explanatory descriptions of the areas as advocated by others fails to fulfill this requirement that human geography can be important in the problem united influence is needed. The relationships between man and earth which are the results of the effect, efforts to survive they are generally the most direct and intimate that most other relationships are established through these. Accordingly, further economic development of economic geography should be encouraged and for the most part economic geography should be the basis of other divisions of the subject. Geography has been a very vast subject and very few field topics. The only field is the laboratory of geography. It is different from regional work in physical science and geology in the development of the rigorous scientific methods of the geographical areas regional work and that the development of fully de effective techniques in regional work may possibly be our greatest requirement. Since most of us are doing geological reconstruction, we generally do not study geological objects and only see more or less randomly how the geographical objects should be briefly studied in those relations which are really geographical. The so-called geographical exhibit is something else to be really geographically discussed. In the sequential sequence of human relations, an interpretive treatment is included in the end and that the development of a satisfactory technique in the exhibition is less important than merely meeting regional methods. Finally, in spite of this, it is making remarkable progress in the US and although it is still in the state of flow, it will come from itself by road or any other through further use. The road I believe that the most promising is represented by human ecology. Thank you.